I'll use this to make the kick drum just sit better in the mix. Ali uses this gate to actually cut off the tail of the kick. This is especially useful if you have a really fast kick drum pattern. What's good YouTube today? I'm going to showing you guys how Mixed by Ali uses Arvox to really make his drums punch. And I learned this trick directly from him. I saw him doing it so many times that I said, well, I might as well make a video on it. And this is really going to help your kick stand out from your 808. And I'm going to be using every single feature of Arvox, which is usually a vocal compressor, but he uses it on drums to really make things punch. I'm going to first play the kick without our Vox, then I'm going to play the kick with our Vox. So the reason he uses Arvox is for two main reasons. The first is a light compression on the kick drum. Now he'll use this to make the kick drum just sit better in the mix and on a plugin like Arvox I really do like the compressor it has this kind of magical quality where it just brings whatever you're compressing to the front of the mix you do have to be careful to not overdo this though the second feature he primarily uses this plugin for is actually the gate the gate will do two things Ali uses this gate to actually cut off the tail of the kick by cutting off the tail of the kick it blends way better with the 808 because that long tail of the 808 isn't interfering with the long tail of the kick and you can see I have my gate here pretty high. And you can see it's just chopping off that tail. Now this is going to depend from kick drum to kick drum to 808 to 808. But you don't want to cut off too much. But you do want to cut off that kind of back end tail of the kick drum. And it's going to make it sit in the mix way better and just punch through. Because you don't have all that extra information that's interfering with your 808. This is especially useful if you have a really fast kick drum pattern. The second thing it's doing is actually creating a sort of high-end click it can be pretty hard to hear but if you guys don't know a lot of the kind of modern kick drum sound especially in a genre like rock is part of that sound is actually a gate opening at like zero milliseconds you get sort of a click now you can use the output volume on our box in order to even out the before and after levels however i will warn you that the output on our box actually does have a built-in limiter to it so you do have to be careful with that. Now I'm going to play the track without Arvox on the kick, then I'm going to play it with Arvox on the kick. That's all for this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy this tip. It really helps me out. And stay tuned for more mixing content. And let me know in the comments below whether or not you guys tried this trick and it worked for you. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video.